There is, and I credit BJJ for reintroducing Americans to the art of judo. I think, you know, it's, I'm very happy for the success of judo. Olympic judo, whatever, modified sport judo, you know, any kind of judo is good judo. Yeah. And then, and then, you know, and the fact that BJJ has, has, has such a wide technical palette and it's allowed people to enter the realms of MMA and people, you know, and so, I mean, there's less frauds by and large and people have a better pathway to access real martial truth, you know, and that's one reason why I like BJJ. It's a form of dispensing truth in that moment. The laws of physics do not lie. And, you know, I, and I think that that grounds us and, um, it certainly grounds me. Yeah. Like, uh, as uh, Pedro Valente said to me, uh, you know, Kosen Judo, BJJ, uh, Judo, uh, Japanese Jiu Jitsu, like the olden days, it's all different expressions of the same art. For sure. I, I agree. And Aikido is a little, is, is a little different. And I, I feel that you're one of the few people I can talk to about. Yeah. Because because you've done judo, this will be more meaningful to you. But there's a lot of lessons in Aikido yeah. for the BJJ world. How so? Look what happens when you give up sparring. Mm. You, you know, that, that kind of the training method. Or it doesn't necessarily have to be sparring. Maybe you don't have to spar. But the training method is very often more important than the techniques. And I think Kano was, was definitely um, spearheading that with the introduction of Randori, eliminating the most dangerous techniques. So you could- Randori in the back then, but um, just, just the parenthesis, but they did Randori. You, you read about these, again, we go back to these Japanese accounts that haven't been translated yet. Luckily, I'm learning Japanese at the moment. Uh, there were competitions that were so tough that Sakujiro Saku Yokoyama, I believe, like he says, like sometimes we would go and say goodbye to our friends because we didn't know if we would make it or not. That's how tough oh, it yeah. was. So sparring, it was there definitely. Oh, uh, it, it, but the, the, uh, and the life drilling, they did more. Yes, when it comes to like weapons and stuff, it's not just kata like the ceremonial forms that we see today. Mm. It was more like life drilling because Kano in his book he says, you know, pl uh, rubber and cloth weapons and tra training kata in them. So obviously kata is not like, just like, uh, do stay like this. He was clearly talking about live drilling and uh, repetitions and also talking about training your reflex through them. So he wasn't talking about the kata you see today, like kimono kata and goshin jutsu no kata. So he was clearly talking about a wider range of, you know, a live drilling, not just randori to keep it safe and throwing only or tapping out only. For sure, for sure. I, 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 maybe I misspoke, but I, I mean that Aikido because it doesn't have the right. the randori. Um, it has kind of it's faded. The interest in Aikido is low in the U.S. The it was all the rage, you know. Basically, the. Basically, the jujitsu of the late 80s, early 90s was Aikido. That was the hot martial art. And, and now it's, why, why is it fading? Well, number one, the, all the masters are dying off. Their second generation students are old, retire, past retirement age. And, we and know I'm sorry? And we know better. One more time. And do we know better? We. Uh, oh, I, I, I think, I think we, if we, sometimes you uh, look at the mistakes other people make. I understand the philosophical reasons why he, he didn't want to have competition, but then your art is going to only last 50 years. And, and as we make more modifications to jujitsu, I like the fact that jujitsu has room for a lot of different, like modern BJJ, 
has room for a lot of different approaches. Um, you can have EBI, you can have ADCC rules, IBJJF rules, gi, no gi, whatever, lots of stuff, MMA oriented. Um, and that's good. But if you make it too sophisticated, it starts getting removed from, from you know, street effectiveness or just like practicality. And Aikido got removed from practicality and it can't make its way back. It, it got taken off the path and now it's, and now it's gone. Uh, so yeah. not that BJJ is going to have the same issues, but we need to look at this other jujitsu style and realize, okay, they made some mistakes in the perpetuation of their art. Let's just observe what they did and try to take some lessons. Also, um, I don't know if you've looked at like those textbooks of Yoshinori Iguchi, uh, Tenjin Shinoryu textbooks, like which is the, like the Kano school. They separated the techniques in a way that if you look at Aikido now and Judo and BJJ, you would know that Aikido is not only not for sparring, especially in today's context, mm. and also it's not gonna, it's it's not it's not gonna compare to those arts. Like for example, um, in Yoshinori Iguchi's book and the Tenjin Shinoryu textbooks or Tetsu Shinoryu uh, Jiu Jitsu textbooks. You would see they have a category like a uh, kata slash self defense techniques, mm -hmm. which is when they were life drilled in a more controlled matter or kata because you know they, they involve, uh, involve stuff like you know, standing wrist locks, dynamic wrist locks, standing, which you can easily hurt. That's why in judo till this day you don't have standing locks because I do agree uh, in a very explosive environment, there's just no room for tapping and you're gonna get injured. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and have the other section, which was rando section. Mm. And if you look at the rando section, you would see techniques like Ippon Seonage, Ogoshi, uh, Deashi Harai, uh, Sasai, mm -hmm. uh, the arm bar, uh, rear naked choke, uh, the sliding collar strangle, stuff mm -hmm. that we do in Judo and BJJ, basically. Mm -hmm. They're already separated this way because rando you can do that in a more controlled manner and also they are relatively safer than Know, stabbing and standing with locks and tying up someone's neck in a rope and all these things. Well, so right, yeah, so I, I think that's like. So what I'm trying to say is, just one second, I need to finish. The stuff that you see in Aikido today, we're more in the kata slash self defense section. So already doomed to be not so much put into mm -hmm. a quote safe environment to practice and benefit both. Then you had the render section was taken and developed more into what we call like today Kodokan Judo, BJJ, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I, from the start to just not be, you know, as like these guys. Like the, the yeah, it was second. already a, a step out of, of sync from that dynamic that we enjoy. Um, and, and there are some techniques that you, you know, you, you may not be able to pressure test in the same way. Uh, but and in many ways, the, some of the Japanese jujitsu that I've done over the years has given me pathways to escape or deflect against weapons or whatever. And it's good to know those possible pathways. And then I know how tightly you have to navigate those pathways in a di live dynamic environment, but at least I have some idea of where to go, how to get off the line of attack. Um, so I, I do think some of those, some of those more self-defense oriented techniques can be, can be useful, particularly by people that already have an understanding of like balance, posture, you know, yes. dynamic movement, et cetera.